Hi all, today let's discuss about buyback of shares. Buyback is also a part of corporate actions. Let us see it in detail in upcoming slides. What is meant by buyback of shares? Buyback simply means a company repurchasing its shares from its existing shareholders and destroying it. What are the benefits of buyback to the shareholders? Firstly, company's total number of shares gets reduced. As we are aware that when supply of shares gets reduced, the demand for it is created automatically and as a result, the stock price shoots up. Also remember to check if the buyback announced by the company is from its cash reserves or using debt. If it is using debt, then please stay away. Secondly, earning per share is increased. This is because the number of shares gets reduced, as we saw in the previous point. And thirdly, the P ratio, that is, the price to earning ratio gets reduced. This is because the earning per share has increased. Let us understand the above points even better with an example from the next slide onwards. Let us assume company X has 1 crore shares and the profit after all expenditures like paying the tax and dividend etc is 10 crore rupees. Earning per share is calculated as profit after all expenditures divided by the total outstanding shares that is 10 crores divided by 1 crore which is 10 rupees and that is the EPS in the above case. Now let us assume the same company X has announced a buyback of 20 lakh shares which means the company has planned to buy 20 lakh shares from its existing shareholders and it would destroy it. Now the new EPS would be 10 crores divided by 80 lakhs that is 12.5 rupees. So now it is clear that after buyback of shares the EPS has increased from 10 rupees to 12.5 rupees. What will happen if earning per share increases? If the earning per share increases, the P ratio goes down, which will attract more investors. P ratio is calculated as the market price divided by earning per share. I will talk about P ratio and earning per share in detail in my upcoming videos on fundamental analysis. What happens if a company generates more profit? If a company generates more profit, they can reinvest the profits for the development of the company or they can pay high dividends to the shareholders, they can use it to acquire other companies or use the cash for buyback. What are the reasons for a company to announce buyback? If a company's promoter has high confidence on the company's growth, that is, if the promoter feels that his company has great future prospects, then he would offer for a buyback. The second reason would be to stop the share price from falling down. That is, if a share price goes down day by day, it might create a panic situation among the investors. So in this case also, the promoter would offer for a buyback to boost the confidence of the investors. Buyback can be done in two ways. The first is open market offer and the second would be the tender offer. Let us see them in detail from the next slide. Open market offer. In open market offer, company buys the shares directly from the shareholders through secondary market that is through stock exchange. If you don't know about secondary market, please do watch our video on basics of stock market. I have pasted the link of the video in the description also. In this case, if buyback is announced, the company also mentions the buyback period and the maximum price that the company will buy from its shareholders. Let us consider the below example to understand open market offer even better. Let's assume company X has a total of 1 crore shares and the current market price is 100 rupees and it has announced a buyback of 20 lakh shares and the period is from August 1st to October 30th and they have set a maximum price range of 125 rupees which means they would buy the shares up to 125 rupees. If share price goes beyond 125 rupees that is 126 or 127 then they don't buy. In simple words they buy their shares at current market price until their maximum price is reached. What is tender offer? In this type, company buybacks its share at a premium price, that is, higher than the current market price. A company sets a record date and after record date, company sends letter of offer to all the eligible shareholders. Eligible shareholders can sell their shares to company, otherwise neglected. The companies normally fixes the ratio for buyback. For example, let's consider company fixes a ratio as 1 is to 5, that is, if you hold 5 shares, then it is guaranteed that the company would definitely buy one share if you take part in the buyback. In some cases, 
If you take part in the buyback and if there are very less participants, there are chances even that the company can purchase the entire shares from the participants. The ratio that we saw in the above cases is called as the acceptance ratio. In the example below, if you hold 10 shares of company X whose current market price is 100 rupees and their buyback price is 130 rupees and the acceptance ratio is 1 is to 5 and let's assume you apply for a buyback. So what are the possibilities? The first possibility is the company buys 2 shares from you and transfers the amount to your bank account. The second possibility is if the number of shareholders willing to sell is very less, the company X would buy all the 10 shares from you. And the third possibility is if the number of shareholders willing to sell the company X share is lesser than expected, then the company X buys considerably more shares, that is 4 to 5 shares in this case. How does the company transfer the money to you if you are taken part in the buyback? If you are part of the buyback, then the payment is made directly to your bank account. Keep in mind, the payment will never be done to your trading account. Now, where to check for the upcoming buyback announcement? We can see them through news channels, but here I will show you a website named Chittagore. Here, we can see all the buyback related announcements. Take a look at the below example. Here, Pyramid Enterprises Limited has announced that they will buy 3.3 crore shares through tender offer and their record date is 25th August. Look at the below table. Here, we see issue open and issue close. So what is issue open? Issue open means it is the date from which the company will take part in the buyback, that is 31st August in this case. Whereas issue close means the date on which the company will close its buyback. Here it is September 6th and this type of buyback is tender offer type. Let us consider the below example for open market buyback. Take a look at CL Educator Limited. Here they have set the maximum price as 94 rupees. So up to 94 rupees they will buy 15 crore worth shares from the period of August 21st to November 28th. Now I hope you are able to understand the concept of buyback. If you have any queries please ask me in the comment section. Thanks for watching the video. If you like our content, please share it with your friends and relatives. Also, remember to subscribe the channel before watching the video. Thanks for now and see you in the next videos.